Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're continuing to create a graph in Unity. We're going to add some separators to our X and Y axes to make our graph easier to read. Let's get started. So, we previously created this graph here, which is displaying all of our values. Our values are represented in code as a list of integers. Right now, we can't really tell what values does each dot represent just by looking at it. What we're missing is a visual for the scale of the X and Y axis, so essentially various separators on each value. So, back in my editor here, on my window graph, I'm going to go into my graph container and create a game object inside it. And essentially, I'm going to create a template for the text that I'm going to use to display the X and Y axis. So in here, let's call it label template. Essentially, this is the game object that we're going to copy paste in order to display all our various labels. So in here, I'm going to add a text component, make it overflow, set no width, no height. Let me anchor it to the lower left side. So right there. And for text, let's say a random number. And this one will be the label template for the X axis, which will be aligned in the center. Okay, so this is what we're going to use to copy paste. And let's duplicate one, make a label template for the Y and align this one to the right and the middle. Okay, so now let's disable these game objects since we only want to use them in order to copy paste and we don't want the templates to actually be visible. So now that we have our labels for our axis separators, let's go back into our code here. And in here, when we have our show graph, when we are creating the circle, we're going to create our separators. Let's start off with the one on the X axis, since that's the easiest. Essentially, the X axis separator is only one per index. So after we spawn the circle, let's just duplicate our X axis label. So first of all, let's go up here and grab a reference to my rec transform for the label template X and one for the label template on the Y. And we're going to grab our references in here. They are inside the graph container dot find label template X, get component, rect transform, do the same for the Y. Okay, so I have my references to my labels that I'm going to duplicate. So go down here and I'm going to make a rect transform for my label X, which will be the instantiation of that template. Label X dot set parent, set the parent to my graph container. I have to go into my game object and set the active to true since my template is disabled. And now let's go into my anchored position, which will be in terms of the X will be at the same X as our circle game object but for the i, it will be under the bottom of our graph. So let's say minus 20f. And finally, go into label x, like get component of type text, and we're going to set the text to be essentially our i, i dot to string. Okay, so back into our scene, and let's see if the labels are showing up. Yep, there you go. You can see our x axes correctly aligned with our dots, and they are displaying the index of each of our dots. Okay, let's shift them a bit upwards, but in terms of logic, everything is working as we want. Okay, so now that we have the X axis labels working, let's take care of the Y axis. Here, it's a bit more complicated. First, we need to decide how many separators we're going to have. So let's make an int separator count, and let's say I'm going to have 10 separators for the vertical axis of my graph. So in here, let me cycle through all of my separators. Less than separator count, I plus plus, okay. And now in here, I'm going to spawn a label, but this will be the label Y, and based on the label template Y. And on my anchored position for my X, I'm simply going to shift it to the left side, so let's say minus seven F. And now for my Y, I need to calculate where this separator will be in the graph. So let me grab a normalized value for this particular index. So let's make a float normalized value, which will be the i divided by my separator count. Since these are two ends, let's convert one of them into a float by multiplying by one. So this will be a normalized value between zero and one of this index based on this many separator counts. So now that I have a value between zero and one, in order to position it vertically, all I need to is multiply that normalized value by my graph height. 
So if this is one, then it's going to be on my graph height. And for my text, I don't want to display the index, but rather the value that this separator represents. So I'm going to make my normalized value multiplied by the Y maximum. So if it is one, this will display the Y maximum, which in this case is a hundred. Let's just round off our value and make it to string. Okay, so we have defined a norm number of separators. We instantiate our label template. We set the parent, we set it into active. We calculate the normalized value of this index. We position it on the left side and in the correct Y position. And for the text, we multiply the normalized value by our Y maximum. We round it off to an int and we convert it into a string. Okay, let's see if our code is working. Yep, there you go. You can see we are dividing by 10. Since we have defined our Y maximum as 100 and we got 10 separators, then each of them is 10. So 10, 20, 30, and so on. And our X axis is also correctly displaying every value. We want to have a label on top, so let's just say minus or equals, but everything else looks okay. So first of all, in order to have it, let's put minus equals, and now it should display the 100 as well. Okay, yep, yeah, there you go. Okay, great. So now that we have both of our axes with our own labels, let's add some dashes so we can easily follow the separators with our eyes. Okay, so let's create a new template for my dashes that we can then duplicate. So go into my graph container and create a new empty game object and name it dash template X. Okay, so this will have a image component and I have in here a texture of a dash, which is just, you know, half in white, half transparent. Going to set the height to, let's say, three, and set it to be very transparent, so just about, eh, just about there. And set the image type to tiled. Then I'm going to anchor it to the left side, the pivot to the left side, but the anchor on the bottom right there. And there you go. I have my dashes and I can modify the width to occupy the whole thing. So let's put it a bit to the left so it matches with the labels and shift it completely to the right. Yep, there you go, exactly. So I have my dash template, everything is working correctly. So let's duplicate it to make our Y and set this to disable. So let's make the dash template for the Y and let's just rotate it 90 degrees. So it's facing upwards. And for my Y, yeah, I'm going to place about in there. So let's say minus four on the Y. And for my height, let me place it. Okay, there you go. I have my vertical and my horizontal dashes. So let's again, erase this back into our code and first of all we need our references so make a private rec transform dash template x and dash template y and grab the references in here okay we grabbed our references now in here when i'm creating the label i'm going to do the same thing to create my dash template x and call it dash x and let's remove the set text and there you go. We are positioning in there and in there. Okay, so I have my X dashes correctly being spawned. Now let's take care of the Y. So in here, when I'm creating the Y label, let's create a dash for my Y, instantiate the dash template for the Y. And for my X position, let's just put it on minus four and for the Y will be the same as my label, okay. Okay, so we are now adding the dashes at the same time as we add the labels and in here the same thing. So let's test it and we should now see dashes on both axes. All right, there you have it. We can now easily see what values are on the graph. So I can see that this dot here is between 40 and 50 and it's in the X axis on the three. So we, the graph is now much easier to read. So there it is. We have successfully added separators to our graph to make it easier to read our data. In the next video, we're going to customize our axis labels. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, see you next time.